Mumbai, the financial capital of India, entertainment hub of the country, the most populous city of India. The existing transport needs a makeover. Mumbai would soon witness underground metro journey. Why Mumbai needs Metro Line 3? Line 3 would reduce traffic congestion by 35%. MMRCL has completed plantation of 20,900 trees on degraded lands in Sanjay Gandhi National Park. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis witnessed the breakthrough of the first tunnel boring machine at Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport. Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation finalizes its contractors for rolling stock and escalators. Bombay High Court dismisses public interest litigation against Metro Car Shed at RD. Hello everyone. Welcome to our show Tunneling the Future. A news capsule that will give you complete information about the development of Mumbai Metro Line 3. This 33.5 km Kulaba Bandra Seeps Metro 3 is a completely underground corridor with 27 stations. Yes, you heard it right, completely underground. This ambitious project has been executed by Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation Limited. MMRCL has been constituted as a joint venture of the Government of India and the Government of Maharashtra on 50-50 sharing basis. This project would be operational by December 2021. But why does Mumbai need such a metro network? Well, let's see the reports. According to a study, a Mumbai car spends 135% more time in the road travel due to traffic congestion than any other Asian city. Large number of private vehicles, low quality of road infrastructure, and lesser availability of feeder transport are reasons behind this. Mumbai sees registration of 2.5 lakh new private vehicles every year. Over the past five years, the number of vehicles has grown from 2 million to 3 million, an increase of 50%. While the state government had tried to boost the use of public transport, no major effect has been seen. This is why a holistic planning was needed to ensure that public transport, including feeder modes, are developed. Mumbai Metro Line 3 is the part of Mumbai Metro Master Plan that consists of 172 km of rail network under north-south and east-west corridors. More than 80 lakh commuters are expected to get benefit, which in turn will reduce the traffic on road and congestion in suburban rails. Metro Line 3 is the most important line which is connecting the southernmost tip of Mumbai from Kolaba to Seeps, which is a very high end uh, industrial and commercial center. This line would actually provide a great relief to the entire suburban line within Mumbai and also the road traffic. Let's have a look on Metro 3 route and what all 27 stations will come under this corridor. Starting with Kaf Parade, the route covers Vidhan Bhavan, Church Gate, Hutatma Chowk, CST Metro, Kalba Devi, Girgaon, Grant Road, Mumbai Central, Mahalakshmi, Science Museum, Acharya Atre Chowk, Varli, Siddhi Vinayak, Dadar, Sitala Devi, Dharavi, BKC, Vidya Nagri, Santa Cruz, Domestic Airport, Sahar Road, International Airport, Marul Naka, MIDC, Seeps, and it ends at RA Depot. This route will also have five interchange points for suburban railway and one each for monorail and Varsova Andheri Ghat Cooper Metro 1. This Metro Line 3 would ease travel rules of Mumbai cars by creating a world-class mass rapid transit. This highly ambitious network will have stations at every 500 meters. It is indeed a very ambitious project. 
So what all benefits will we have if the Mumbai Metro Line 3 gets operational? Let's have a look. Metro Line 3 with 27 stations will connect about 30 educational institutions, 6 business districts, 30 recreational centers and domestic as well as international airports. It will reduce traffic by 35%. That would save approximately 2.5 lakh liters of fuel per day. That would save around 550 crore rupees per year. Reduction in travel time. Currently, it takes 100 minutes to travel from Kaffari to airport. That will come down to only 50 minutes. If you have to drive by yourself, then driving probably one, two hours one way and then again driving back to home will consume approximately three to four productive hours of your time and the, that I really find a wastage of time. Fewer vehicles also mean improved air quality and reduction in noise pollution. Wow, it sounds too good to be true. There are many more interesting facts to know about the Metro Line 3. But first, let's take a short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Tunneling the Future. Here you get all the updates about Metro Line Project 3. Mumbai Metro Line 3 is the first project of its kind being completely underground. It is one of the most challenging mega urban infrastructure projects in India. The tunneling work for this project is not easy as it seems. The metro alignment for this line is penetrating through the busy business district of South Mumbai, heritage and institutional areas, dense neighborhoods of Girgaon, Kalba Devi, mix residential and commercial districts of central Mumbai and domestic and international airports. The biggest challenge that uh, we consider is ensuring the land required for development of Kalba Devi and Girgaon stations, which are located uh, in more than 100 year old development of Kalba Devi Girgaon on a very narrow road with various very close developments and dilapidated buildings and a very fragmented ownership. The old buildings had a lot of protected tenants under the Rent Control Act. So securing the land required for these two stations and developing a design that uh, would facilitate construction in that congested place is the biggest challenge. Other than this, the underlying utilities like pipelines of gas, water, electricity, drainage are also to be taken care of. MMRCL is working with different departments and agencies to resolve all these issues effectively and sensitively. The whole 33.5 km stretch has been divided into seven packages with separate contractor. Each package will account for three to four stations. Let's learn more about Package 1 in detail. Package 1 constitutes of Kaf Parade, Vidhan Bhavan, Church Gate, and Hutatma Chak. The total length of this package is 5.88 kilometers. Most of the Mumbaikars have no idea what is happening under the ground and how life is going to change soon. I must tell you, the tunneling work has already begun under 25 to 30 meters below the ground in many parts of Mumbai. To execute this work, MMRCL has imported 17 tunnel boring machines, that is TBM from China, Australia and Germany. You must be wondering, what is TBM? Let us know all about TBM in detail. TBM is a highly mechanized earth pressure balance device that is used to construct tunnel with a circular cross section. Each of these TBMs weighs around 700 to 800 tons with a diameter of 5.8 meter and length of 
98 meter long. All 17 TBMs have been lowered into the construction sites. According to tunneling tradition throughout the world, a TBM starts working only once it is named. It is believed that it brings good luck for the project. MMRCL has creatively named TBMs of Metro 3 after mighty rivers of Maharashtra. Two TBMs of Package 1 have been named after the river Surya as Surya 1 and Surya 2. Two TBMs of Package 2 have been named after the river Vaitarna. Two TBMs of Package 3 have been named after the river Tansa. Three TBMs of Package 4 have been named after the river Krishna. Four TBMs of Package 5 have been named after the river Godavari as Godavari 1, 2, 3 and Godavari 4. Package 6 have been named after the river Tapi. Three TBMs of Package 7 have been named after the river Vainganga. Make your way, mighty rivers, make your way. And yes, out of 33.5 km corridor, 12 km of tunneling work has been completed by these mighty rivers. I mean, TBMs. Other than tunneling work, MMRCL is actively working on other aspects as well. We will know more about it on the other side of the break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Tunneling the Future, a news capsule that will keep you updated with all the information related to Metro Line 3. Let's have a look on what all is happening in parallel to the tunneling world. MMRCL has completed plantations of 20,900 trees on degraded land parcels in Sanjay Gandhi National Park as part of compensatory plantation of Mumbai Metro 3 as well as CSR initiative. Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis witnessed the breakthrough of the first TBM at Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport Terminal 2 station. This TBM was commissioned on 8th of January 2018 from Pali Ground Marol completed its tunnel drive of 1.26 km in Packet 7 to see the light at its end at CSMIA T2 station. For uh, any success, we used to say that it is a breakthrough, but for the first time, I could see the real definition of word breakthrough. <laughs> when I could see the breakthrough of this tunnel by the tunnel boring machine, and all congratulations to LNT and STEC for doing a wonderful job. It's a momentous occasion. And I think this is a mere beginning. You have to do a lot of hard work. But I think once we began well, then rest is just doing it more and more in a better way. Earlier times, Mr. Council General, people used to say that what you want to make Mumbai and our erstwise rulers used to say, we want to make Mumbai Shanghai. But now our priority has changed. Now we want to make Mumbai Mumbai and at some point of time, people from Shanghai would also come to Mumbai to see what Mumbai has done. And of course, with your help, with the help of Shanghai, we will be able to do it. The roads, Javai Javai Satra Lak, Mumbai Karana, Atyanta Vegavan, Surakshit, and Sukhakar Pravasachi Hamidana, Prakalpa, Yadona Zarekvis for the Purnoi, they were Nishitas, Mumbai Chi, the Navin Jivan Vahini Tharana. I am also thankful to my extremely professional and hardworking team of Mumbai Metro Rail Corporation. I would also like to urge them to work harder. To basically to put all their experience and expertise at stake and try to offer, put this green and much awaited public transport system at the service of Mumbai citizens, which they need desperately. MMRCL 
finalizes Elstrom as its rolling stock supplier for Metro 3 corridor. This French manufacturer will design, manufacture, install and test 31 trains with 8 car configuration. MMRCL awarded contract for the escalators work for 14 stations starting with Gaf Parade to Siddhi Vinayal. From Jaika as per procurement norms, Johnson Lifts Private Limited India and SJEC Corporation China Consortium have been awarded the escalators works. The works consist of design, manufacture, supply, installation, testing and commissioning along with other associated works for 205 numbers of escalators for the 14 stations. I am really very excited about the completion of this project. Let's talk to the Mumbaikars and know their point of view. Mumbai Metro will definitely give the alternate way of the transportation to the people of the Mumbai and also it will be the comfortable and convenient journey will be there. So definitely it will affect to the uh, traffic condition in future and even also the it will affect to the local crowd also. Gadi se jo abhi chalte hai highway pe, wo metro mein traveling karna chalo ho jayega. Toh mere khayal se kaafi farak pad jayega traffic mein. Metro the life would be easy and uh, pollution would reduce because vehicular movement would be less. Shahar mein badlaav to ho jayega, admi ka time saving ho jayega. Jo aaj traffic ki wajay se uska time loss hota hai, wo bach jayega. Vehicles ke jo quantity hai wo kam hogi aur kaafi saare travelers metro mein hi travel karna pasand karenge aur usse jo pollution hai diesel ka, petrol ka wo, wo zarur kam hoga. Thousands of laborers, engineers, project managers, contractors, facilitators and experts from around the globe are working round the clock to ensure that the Metro Line 3 gets completed successfully on time. And if everything goes by timeline set by MMRCL, Mumbai cars can enjoy comfortable and safe underground metro ride by December 2021. There is a lot more to know about this project, but you've got to wait till our next episode. Till then, goodbye and take care. City infrastructure is getting upgraded while we all are living and working here. So there is going to be a certain amount of uh, discomfort and uh, difficulty to every citizen who is moving around these areas. So please bear with us for uh, uh, till 2021 and uh, Metro 3 will be delivered to citizens of Mumbai for their pleasurable and comfortable travel for the decades to come.